In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to replace sky from a video in Adobe After Effects. We will be working on this free stock footage over here. You can see that we have a clear blue sky over here. Now what if we wanted to add some clouds to this shot? For that, we will basically use this free stock image of clouds and merge it with the shot. So to get started, first of all, we will move to the toolbar on top and select the pen tool over here. We will use the pen tool to mask out the sky from the footage. Make sure the video layer is selected. And now let's zoom in the footage and draw a path of the sky using the pen tool. Be careful while drawing a path around the boat. You would want to exclude each and every part of the boat or whatever object you have on your footage. And therefore, you can even work with multiple masks. For example, over here you have a bit of the background showing over here. The pen tool automatically adds a mask to the layer, so all you have to do is draw over the footage like so, and it will add a mask on the layer following that exact path. Now let's do the same for this portion over here, and you can see that as we start drawing, the mask is automatically added to the layer. Make sure that all the mask properties are set to subtract. You can do that from the layer menu over here. By choosing the subtract option, you are now able to make the layer behind the video layer visible in the path drawn. Right now, it's showing a blank white color for the path that we have created. That's because there's nothing in the background right now. Over here, we will add the image of the clouds. So let's move to the library and drag the clouds image and move it below the video layer. And now you can see that the clouds image is only showing in the path we have drawn. Let's configure the image a bit to better suit the footage. Here we will right click on the image, move over to transform, and choose the fit to composition width option. This will resize the image automatically according to the width of the composition. You can even change the position of the image by simply dragging it on the canvas, like so. Or you can even expand the layer menu, open up the transform options, and change the position using these values over here. As you change the values, you can check out the output in real time. Once done, let's render the sequence, and here you can see that we have successfully added clouds to this footage. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.